Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a fine day today. It's early in the morning here in Central Florida, and man, it is still hot, 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 hot. Somebody get me a fan. Anyway, we kind of get hot weather all the time down here, and a lot of you think that's a good thing, but sometimes we think it sucks. Let me have a little sip of coffee here real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to get a couple housekeeping things out of the way, and then we're going to talk about that Mac Studio, which is why you're here. I have a simple relationship with Sweetwater. I'm part of their affiliate program, so there's a link down in the description below. Ever want to buy anything from a mic cable and go out and buy yourself a 14 billion channel Neve console? I get a tiny itty bitty cut from it. It's what helps me grow the channel and helps me sustain it. I guess it doesn't help me grow. This helps me grow, but it helps me sustain it, man, because we do a lot of work and I do a lot of work. And so ultimately... We're going to get to the topic at hand, but remember that's there. Anytime you want to buy anything, you go to any one of my videos, plop down right there. It's going to be there. Click on that and go buy whatever you want to buy, as long as you want to support the channel. And no, I really appreciate it. There's also a link down there for Tom, and if you happen to be over in Europe, so check that out too. So onto the subject at hand, Mac Studio. Now, I am a Mac user. I, I, I use Mac and Windows side by side every day for different purposes, like in my woodworking, my CNC and stuff like that. I use a Windows machine. But for my studio, I've always used Mac. Does that mean Mac is better? No, 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 no. Use what makes you feel good. But if you happen to be a Mac guy like me, and you're used to that operating system, and you like it, then a Mac studio is a powerful, powerful beast. Man, Apple really transformed its computers with the, with the Apple Silicon, or Silicon, whatever you call it, I don't care. That thing. They made them way, 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 way more powerful than they had been with the Intel chip. So, so, so. What is the Mac Studio and why am I saying don't buy it? Well, I'm telling you, don't buy it right now. I happened to watch a video from Max Tech. Good guy. I'll put a link to his video down below. I strongly encourage you to go check that out where he's got leaks from Mark Gurman. If you don't know who Mark Gurman is, he is the de facto standard in predicting what the next thing coming out of Apple is going to be. And he's just about right about 90 some odd percent of the time. And so he's a very reliable source. And he's, he's released some information on the new M4 Max. Is it the Max or Ultra that's slated to come out in the first quarter of next year? And it's going to be the fastest chipset ever known to the general public. Now, I know you Windows guys are going to freak out about that. I'm just repeating what the guy said. Whether rubber hits the road and that's the case, we're going to find out. Because this boy's been holding off on buying a Mac Studio because I've got an M1 Pro MacBook Pro, but I'm ready to jump up. But my M1 Pro actually deals with all of my audio. I don't really have any problems with that. Where I need some additional power is this stuff, you know, this video editing stuff. You know, I need some more power for that. So, so I'm definitely going to buy a Mac Studio. And I've been looking, 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 and patiently waiting for the next one to come out. Now, I'm overwhelmed by it, and I cannot wait. I'll give that laptop back there to my wife. She'll give her laptop to my daughter, and I'll get the Mac Studio, and I'm going to be a happy, happy, happy camper, and it's going to be worth every penny, and that bad boy's going to last me a very long time. So don't buy it now. Just wait until next year. But, 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 remember I said my M1 Pro slays everything on audio. I don't have any problems, but you may be working differently than me, and maybe you need a little bit more. But maybe you don't need a ton more. I'm going to tell you, the maxed out Mac Mini that they just came out with the Zen 4, that thing is off the charge performance wise. And I would strongly encourage you to get that. I have come to the conclusion, I have a ton of experience with this. And for the home studio user, I'm here to tell you that a Mac Mini will get done everything you need to get done. You might have to buy an external Thunderbolt dock, not a hub, a dock, which is powered and maintains that consistent throughput for the most part, as if you're connecting to your computer. So you might have to do that. I got uno, uno, dos of them here. But then again, the M1 MacBook Pro only has a few ports on it. And so I need more because I do a lot of backup and all that stuff and recommend you do that too. If you're going to buy anything right now and you need something right now, go with the maxed out Mac Mini and it will slay anything you're going to throw at it in a home studio sense. For the overwhelming majority of users, yes, are there a few select of you that may need more for whatever reason? You're not the norm when it comes to that for computer processing. Now, in audio, you're just as much the norm as everybody else. So anyway, don't buy that right now. Hold off. Next quarter, if a Mac Studio is in your future and you've been tasting for one, well, take a bite out of it then. Go on a diet right now and don't buy it this year. That's what I'm here to tell you. So go check out that link down below. 
to the video that I watched. It really kind of inspired this particular video. So I think it's important to get this information out there for you audio guys like me and so you can make intelligent decisions on what to buy that's going to work perfectly for you and your studio. And if you're a Mac guy, that new Mac studio is going to be phenomenal. However, you probably most likely don't need that much. So that Mac mini maxed out is awesome, awesome, awesome. You need to go check out the performance of it because it is quite impressive. And so check that out and decide what's best for you. Leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you think. And until next time, hope every one of you have a great day. Bye-bye.